Five Unusual People in the World, Part 115. Hello everyone, I'm Keisha, and have a great day. A lot of people have such weird abilities and looks that we would never believe they are real. Have you ever heard someone mention a person so heavy that he can't get out of bed for 7 years? Or a woman who gave birth at the age of 90? Who are they? What are they capable of? Let's meet them through this video. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 5. Michelle Keeney Michelle Keeney is a feature athlete in the 2020 Guinness World Record. With her relentless training and never accepting defeat, she seems to be able to break any female strength record. Look at the muscles on her body. That really leaves me a doubt. Michelle started when she was in high school as a young softball athlete, trained by her coach to join a cross-country team to stay in shape during her time off. Refusing to do anything halfway, she played the sport so well. She was eventually recruited by the Mississippi State University for athletics, going on to join their softball team. After graduating, she learned about the sport that would eventually bring her a string of Guinness World Record titles. Years later, Michelle became part of Reebok's initiative to break more 24-hour fitness records than any other shoe brand on the planet. She brought her competitive spirit to the gym in Los Angeles, California, where she and other professional athletes would chase a noble prize and train to break records. She regularly challenges herself to not fall behind, so she never accepts any defeat. It is a fact that while you are still worried that you have gained a few kilos in the winter and are struggling to find a way to lose weight, don't worry, there are fatter people in the world than you. Number 4. Patrick Duell Patrick Duell was born on March 28, 1962, in Grand Island, Nebraska, USA, known as one of the heaviest people in the world. He has a loyalty to fast food that has made him obese for the rest of his life. At his peak, he was so large that his bedroom wall had to be demolished to get him out of his home. Before starting treatment, Patrick was 42 years old, 5 feet 7 inch, and weighed 1,051 pounds. At one point, he didn't leave his house even his bed for seven years. He cannot move independently, nor can he do anything without the help of others. The only scale that can be used to weigh him is a cattle scale. With his weight and weight loss, he became the subject of the documentary How 10 Men on Channel 4's Body Shock series, in which Rosalie Bradford gave advice after hitting the record of 900 pounds weight loss. He lost weight in the fastest time of a year after the tumor was removed from his body during gastritis surgery. But then, he was taken to the hospital again in a serious condition with the same diagnosis, obesity. Patrick wanted to lose weight again and eventually stopped eating fast food, which he took to be the only joy in life. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2016. Say goodbye to the obese man. Let's meet a very special man with a height that you will probably have to stand on a ladder to be as tall as him. Number 3. Fyodor Magnov Fyodor Magnov was born on June 6, 1878, into a poor family in a village near Vitebsk, now Belarus. This world's tallest man lost his mother at birth. Fyodor's mother died in labor as his body was too big. Fyodor was raised by his grandfather. Fyodor's relatives were all tall, but none was as huge as him. Initially, Fyodor Magnov developed normally like any other children. Only after the age of 8, he began to grow rapidly. By 12, Fyodor had reached a height of 6.56 feet. His feet are over 20 inch, and his palms are 12.6 inch. When he was 14, Fyodor rebuilt the house himself because he couldn't fit in anymore. Then, a German boss noticed Fyodor and offered to take him to Germany to tour with the group. Fyodor agreed to go to Germany, and there he went to school. Then, at the age of 16, he signed a contract with the circus. In the circus, Fyodor performed a lot of tricks, but most of the audience only came to witness his enormous height. At the age of 25, this giant man reached a height of 9.35 feet. 
His daily meal was also in direct ratio with his height. For breakfast, Fyodor ate twenty omelets, eight sandwiches, and two liters of tea. For lunch, he ate five point five pounds of beef and the same amount of potatoes, and was able to sleep more than twenty four hours. Working in a German circus made Fyodor rich. At the beginning of the twentieth century, he returned to Russia and bought the land where he grew up. He rebuilt his house to fit his needs and called it the Giant Palace. After that, Fyodor continued to travel to Europe on tour. His popularity spread far and wide. Fyodor died at the age of thirty-four, and the cause of death is still unknown. Life is full of injustice. While many other children were babbling and learning to talk and walk, this boy from India struggled with an abnormally large head. Number two, Meridian J. Das. Baby Meridian J. Das from Rampur, India, unfortunately has a terrible disease that makes his head abnormally large, like a big ball. With a head circumference of up to thirty-seven point eight inches, Meridian J. Had the world's largest head. Of course, this record doesn't make him and his family proud, but it is a pain. According to doctors, the boy has hydrocephalus. About one to two out of every one thousand babies are born with the condition. It is usually treated by surgically placing a shunt system. The outcome may not be as desired. However, many children regain a normal life. Without treatment, death could come. Meridian Jay's parents, Mr. Kamalas Dash and Mrs. Kavita, said that due to the horrible complications, the family was ostracized by the neighbors. Mr. Kamalas said, "People call our baby a ghost because of his unusual appearance. I hope that efforts to reduce the size of his head will change the attitude of neighbors and residents. They will stop calling him with the raw catchy names like Giant Head or Ghost Baby." Fortunately. The family's wish was turned into reality. After more than six weeks of treatment, by sucking fluid out of that skull, the baby's head circumference has decreased greatly. Doctors then placed a replacement in the baby's head, and it worked perfectly. The cognitive functions of the baby have all improved a lot. The boy's health is stable now and responds to the treatment condition quite well. At an age when most women are busy playing with their grandchildren. Or have for long stopped thinking about having children. A seven-year-old Indian woman has just given birth to her first child. Number one, Chivu Ben Rabari. Chivu Ben Rabari and her husband have been trying to have children since they got married, but all attempts have been unsuccessful. By the time she's seventy, the chances of getting pregnant naturally are almost zero. Since most women go through menopause between their late forties and early fifties, the couple went to see a doctor for IVF. The doctor told Rabari that she was too old and it was too dangerous for her health, but she didn't listen. Finally, she started crying and said, "Even if I died, I would be happy because at least I tried to have a baby." That makes it impossible for the doctor to refuse. Mrs. Rabari has been in menopause for more than twenty years. So, firstly, she received hormone treatment. They then enlarged her uterus, which had contracted with age, and ended up transferring the only embryo by IVF, because that was all her uterus could receive. Miraculously, a test carried out fifteen days after insemination revealed that Ms. Chivu Ben Vallabhai Rabari had conceived. Doctors then found a heartbeat. And despite the obvious health risk to the elderly woman, she continued to get pregnant. However, by the eighth month, the woman's blood pressure was worryingly high, so the doctors decided to deliver the baby a month earlier. Luckily, the baby is healthy, and she doesn't have too many health problems. Those are all the most amazing people I have found today. We have many more waiting for you to discover in the following videos. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you again.